Hey guys, this is Dr. Kelsey and this is Palmer here hanging out with us today. And it's October, we're talking about specific um, cancers that dogs get. And today I want to highlight mast cell tumors. That's M-A-S-T cell tumors. They're the most common skin tumors that are found on a dog, okay? Um, they can show up with little bumps or nodules. Um, they're in the skin, okay? You usually are visible and can see them. Um, one of the interesting things, sometimes they'll actually swell and get bigger and then they reduce in size. So sometimes a client will say, you know, the other day it was bigger and now it's smaller. Well, that, make, that kind of tips me off that this could be a mast cell, okay? There are certain breeds that get mast cells. Um, uh, labs actually do get mast cells sometimes. Uh, there are pugs get mast cells. Um, bulldogs can get mast cells. Now, of course, any dog can get a mast cell tumor. And they really can be anywhere. Uh, it could be on the ear. I've taken them off the ear. I've taken them off the tail. I've taken them off, you know, the legs and belly. They really are. It could be anywhere. Um, the big thing about mast cells are that you just need to have them removed. I mean, that's the the, the main focus is actually it's going to take surgery to remove them. There's really no medication per se, at least initially. You want to surgically remove those mast cells, and then we send them off for what's called histopathology or you know a biopsy to make sure we have clean margins and also that they're not an aggressive version of mast cell. They they do measure them as a grade one, two, and three. The threes being more aggressive than the ones. And uh, if we do get back to grade three, we usually do recommend visiting with the local oncologist uh, here in town. Um, mast cells, um, are they, they can recur, so it means if you have a dog that's had one, they've got a 20% chance or so that they're gonna come back. Now it could be three months or it could be three years, but they, they, a lot of them do tend to come back. And again, we just try to address them each time. Uh, the last thing about mast cells I tell my owners that have a dog with them is, you know, if you feel a bump or a nodule and it's persistent, you know, if it stays around more than a couple of weeks, it's definitely worth checking out. And we can do a needle aspirin, a little cytology is what we call it, to test it and make sure, you know, that it either is or is not a mast cell. Um, so that's a little bit about mast cells. Unfortunately, we see them uh, pretty commonly, you know, several a month, at least once a month. Uh, on dogs, and but we can take care of them and usually they still have a pretty good long life.